New at 6 tonight, the city of Orange Cove is terminating their current contract, animal shelter contract, with a nonprofit group called Friends of Orange Cove Animal Shelter. The nonprofit took to Facebook sharing the news and has left residents of Orange Cove uneasy about the shelter's future. CBS 47's Kaylee Hunt joins us live at City Hall in Orange Cove. So, Kaylee, why did the city terminate the contract with the nonprofit? I'm told Focus was not in compliance with the city's contract. However, when I spoke to the nonprofit, they weren't sure where they violated that contract, so the letter of termination came as a surprise. <laughs> Friends of Orange Cove Animal Shelter, or Focus for short, has worked with the city of Orange Cove since 2014, holding lost or stray dogs and finding them new homes. Because I love the dogs. I'm an animal lover, and I love the dogs. But on October 10th, the city dropped off a letter of termination, saying they will no longer be working with this nonprofit. We are on edge. We are on edge. Adriana Figueroa with Focus says this came as a surprise to them because they worked with the city for years, the city paying the organization $2,500 a month for their service. The whole contract served the city of Orange Cove, which means they could decide whether to pay us the $2,500 a month or not. So, which leads us to believe why would they terminate a contract when it benefit the city in every which way. Figueroa says she is worried for the dog's safety now because the city does not have an animal control officer, leaving the capturing of stray dogs solely on the public works department. We get the dogs, they're tranquilized, sometimes they're overly tranquilized and it takes us a day or two to even get them to even stand up on their own. However, David Lopez with the city of Orange Cove says Focus did not fulfill their contract, which became a liability to the city. The monthly reports are not coming in in a timely manner. Uh, another one of the big issues was that uh, they forfeited their uh, workman's comp. Lopez says instead of having this nonprofit lead the animal shelter, they are working to hire a new position within the city to solely oversee the animal shelter. Because uh, we're still wanting to work with Focus. If they want to come in and volunteer their time and, and, and help out with the animals there at the shelter, they're able to do so. I'm told Focus has until December 10th to completely leave the animal shelter and Orange Cove City Hall says they are constantly looking for a new animal control officer. For now, reporting live at Orange Cove City Hall, I'm Kaylee Hunt, CBS 47 Eyewitness News. Kaylee, thank you. And for continuing coverage on the animal shelter, be sure to stay with Eyewitness News and online at yourcentralvalley.com. You can also download our mobile app.